Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add the Hostinger email to your Microsoft email account on a MacBook. Now this will apply if it's Microsoft Outlook on a Windows machine, but for this example, I'll be doing it on my Mac and I'm running Outlook for Mac version. So I'm just going to come over here to tools and I'm going to click on accounts and then I'm going to click on plus, add an account. And right here, you want to grab your details. Now, if you're changing your password, it's the same procedure. You're just gonna have to grab all your details in your hosting or email account. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm not logged into my hosting or email account, but when you go to your configuration details, it's gonna provide you, or you could grab this information from hosting or support. So all you have to do is just ask them, or you could find it when you log into your account. So there's two things that you're gonna need. You're gonna to have to first figure out if you're gonna use POP or IMAP. And then that's for incoming email. For the outgoing email, it's SMTP. So let's go back over to Windows. So I'm just going to do this example. I'm just going to put in your name and then at your domain.com. So over here, the email that you registered with Hostinger, you want to put in here and your domain. Okay, you want to say not Google. And now what you want to do here is you want to set up your IMAP and POP settings. So when we look back here, you want to select either IMAP or POP3. So one thing I like to do is first try IMAP. If IMAP doesn't work, then use the less secure option, which is POP3. But let's take this. Let's do imap.hostinger.com. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put, so it says your name at your domain.com. So that's, you know, for example, put your name at uh, xyz.com if your domain name is xyz.com. Now put in the password that you get from Hostinger uh, when it was set up first. Now your incoming server is going to be imap.hostinger.com. And now your SMTP, you want to make sure that it's SSL and 993. So SSL and 993. Use SSL and 993. Now your SSL to connect for your outgoing server is right here. So this is your outgoing server. So you want to copy smtp.hostinger.com. Come back paste that make sure that your port number is fine 465 465 and now you want to add your account if you have issues the first thing that I would do is check your password if you're not sure you could always reset your password and then re-enter that new password or if you encounter here you can see if you encounter SMTP encryption issues use TLS or start TLS with port 587 so what I like to do is also uh, change that to 587 for SMTP. And if this doesn't work, another option is you can try POP3. So come over here to POP. And now you just put in your host name of the incoming server. And this is what I like to do as well. Sometimes I don't use SSL, even though it says recommended. You could uncheck this as well as uncheck this and click add account. But the main thing is if you're testing incoming email, you can sign into one of your external emails like Yahoo or Hotmail or Gmail and just test the incoming port. Okay. If you're receiving mail, so this is where I'd go to Gmail, send an email to myself from my Gmail account and see if the incoming is coming in. If incoming is working, you know that this setting, this part is fine. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your Microsoft Outlook in Mac or on Windows and just send something out going back to Gmail or just do a reply to that. If that doesn't work, then you want to contact support and just say my outgoing SSL or my outgoing server settings aren't working. Okay, and that might be one of two things. Uh, the port, your password, or the SSL connection. And once you contact Hostinger for support, they'll provide you either a reset or a different outgoing server. So that's how you connect your hosting your email to your account. And like always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.